Hey everybody, welcome back to Recordology. This is like take 13. I just can't do this today. I don't know why, but here we go. Let's try again. Okay, so today we're going to be taking a look at a cool Tyler Audio brand portable cassette tape player with AM FM radio. Now, if you're anything like me, you will have a fond memory of cassette tapes as a technology. And isn't it interesting that we often go back to the technologies that we enjoyed in our youth? Well, that's definitely the case for me today because I spent many happy nights with my Sony Walkman and a sharp portable cassette tape Walkman type device listening to the radio. And I love to listen at night when you can pull in stations from far away and to listen to my tapes as well. And speaking of tapes, I had this copy of uh, Michael Jackson's Bad is my second copy, maybe even third, because literally the first one I had, I wore it out. I literally wore the tape out and had to buy a replacement because I listened to it so much. This and New Kids on the Block for some reason. Anyway, we're going to take a look at this new tape player, see how it stacks up to what we're used to and what we grew up with. You're not going to want to miss this. <laughs> Okay, and here it is. Isn't it bizarre that electronics these days are packaged completely differently than they were back in the day? Obviously, if you're buying this online, which is where you would buy this, there's no need for a blister pack that would hang on a, on a metal you know, rod on a shelf, which is how we used to buy electronics. You know, with the blister pack that would show it off, all that good stuff, get you excited, have the specs on the back. Now it's in boxes for the simple sake of, you know, shipping and portability and, you know, ease of shipment for the manufacturer. But it's interesting how now you get the product that just comes in this. But anyway, so here it is. This is the Tyler AM FM radio cassette player. And this design is similar to like what we saw with the Jensen portable. And that's a product that we've looked at in the past as well. It features a full band AM FM radio. It includes stereo earbuds. I love how they're doing that. They never used to do that. When you used to buy a tape player, well, no, cassette players used to come with those headbands. Remember those headbands with like the foam sponge ear covers? But uh, CD players, I don't really remember them coming with earbuds, but it's cool to see stuff coming, you know, with headphones included. Anything included is good. This is the TCP02. And yeah, it's pretty straightforward. I mean, it it is what it is. And again, I'm going to be comparing this to my vintage Sharp and Sony and go from there. So here we go. I'm going to open it up, see what we got. And again, what do I use tapes for these days? I like to tape, you know, it was really interesting reading your guys' comments on the Tyler Audio shoebox player, which, you know, that video was really fun to do because a lot of memories, again, from that world as well. But it was really interesting to hear you guys talk about recording movie sounds and, you know, music and you know those are the things i used to do as well still do i like to record movie sounds or movie audio and then listen to them at night as i fall asleep okay so here are the headphones take a look at these and a simple little ziploc bag i have a pair of these yeah we've definitely probably from another tyler product they get the job done and uh you know they're not gonna be the best earbuds you ever had but they'll get you started and uh, we'll you know, do a decent job until you can replace them with something higher end if you want to. But I'm gonna go ahead and listen to those off camera in a little bit and I'll let you know exactly what I think. And here is the main unit itself. So let's go ahead and it's got a bubble wrap loosely placed in here. Yep, there it is. Very sleek, sort of a matte black finish, which I like. We've got a window in there. You know, this is a bit different than the Jensen. This isn't identical, I don't think. Because I remember the buttons to that one were right where the plastic piece is met. So let's look at the top here. What do we got? Okay, looking at the top here, we have the headphone jack. I have no idea if that's stereo or not. A switch that selects between tape and radio. A tuning dial and an AM FM switch. Rotating this around, we have the familiar buttons. Stop, fast forward and play. That means it is a one direction motor. So if you want to rewind, you have to flip the tape over Fast forward it, flip it back over again, and that's just a struggle that children of the 80s are familiar with. There's the volume knob, good placement on that. 
Yeah. And then on the bottom here, you do have a three volt power supply if you want to power it off of AC. But we're gonna be using the battery compartment. It does include this uh, belt clip here if you wanna remove that. Usually they just slide off. So you don't have to have that. And that's about it, pretty simple stuff. Two double A's, my Rayovac rechargeables. Great investment, by the way, if you're using electronics like this a lot, pay a little bit more, get the rechargeable batteries, and then obviously a battery charger, which are not hard to find. And then you can use these for quite a long time. And, and rechargeable batteries are much better now than they used to be. You can uh, have very, very, very good performance for the first year of continual use before those batteries will diminish at all. And even then it'll only be 10% or less. Okay, let's go ahead and open this up. You just manually pull it open and closed, which again, for an entry level manual cassette player, that's nothing that we're not used to. Down there with the white kind of silvery circle, that's the top of the motor. And I'm guessing this is a Tanishin clone mechanism. Let's take a look at that. So hard to identify because this is not a recorder and usually I identify Tanishin or Tanishin type players by that blue erase head. So this doesn't have an erase head. Here's another angle. That cap stand is just blocking it, but you can tell that head is a mono head because it has one section with that black border around it. Stereo would have two. But yeah, that's about it. Here's a look on the inside here. Okay, I'm gonna connect the headphone jack to a speaker. We'll be using this guy again. Again, great investment, 10 bucks or so and an excellent speaker for testing stuff. Powering it's really on. good. Ready to pair. Surprisingly good sound quality. Turn up the volume all the way. Maximum volume. Put that just off camera. Okay, so there may or may not have been about five hours since the last clip and this one, because as it turns out, my batteries were all depleted. So I put them all in there and <laughs> we should be good to go, I hope, because when I tried earlier, the thing sounded like it was in slow-mo. So I'm thinking my batteries just needed to be charged. So. And I don't have any alkalines in the house right now, at least not in this size. Okay, so I'm gonna reconnect this to my speaker. Again, using the headphone jack there. Okay, we've got our batteries in, we've got our speaker connected. Now we just need to take soundtrack to my childhood being inserted presently. Oh yeah, I remember this stuff. You know, I don't notice terrible wow and flutter. A little bit when it first gets started, but that's pretty typical. Yep, good stuff. All right, let's test out the radio. Let's flip it over to AM. Oh, that was pleasant. Sometimes you gotta use two fingernails to get it dialed in just perfectly. Boy, those AM bands are tough to find. Not because of this, just in general. Cool. And tape is also the off position, which I always thought was odd. Okay, so here's what I can tell you. This has good physical build quality in terms of the plastics used. I like the fact that they used a matte finished plastic. I think that was smart. The more I look at this, I do think this is different than the Jensen. And uh, I don't think that one has a radio, now that I think about it. So this truly is like a Walkman. Now the Walkman was a higher end product, admittedly, but you know, this is an affordable device that'll get the job done. And uh, you gotta make sure you got good batteries in there. I can attest to that. Rechargeables are never quite as punchy as alkaline and they don't last as long. That's kind of the trade off there, so. Make sure you got good batteries and you're gonna be able to enjoy this, I think, quite a bit. I think the FM antenna is probably the headphone jack. So when you're plugged in via headphones, that's usually how that works in the AM 
is probably a ferrite rod internally somewhere. These headphones are just the way I remember them. They have kind of this out of phase, kind of tinny sound. But again, they'll get the job done. They're good for testing, like, if there's signal. <laughs> I've, I've, I've kept these in my toolkit just for that use. So, like, you know, if I need to verify there's signal coming out of something, you know, they work good for that. You know, if you have nothing else, then they'll get the job done. It's just the not, it's not the most rich, full sound. It, you invest in some higher-end earbuds. But make sure that they are the uh, TRS, like this one. So three sections with two black bands. If you put in Apple headphones which are TRRS with two, three bands and four sections, that microphone element won't align properly and it'll add noise to the signal. That being said, I also did hear uh, a little bit of signal noise on these headphones and that will improve if you plug in separate headphones a little bit, I think. But, you know, again, this is an affordable product that gets the job done and it's very reminiscent of what we grew up with. And I would recommend it. So I'll put a couple links in the description below. And that's going to do it for today. This is the Tyler AM FM radio cassette player. Okay, guys, that's going to do it for today. If you want to snag one of these, check the links in the description below. And tell me your history, your memories with cassette tapes, and specifically Walkman-type devices. I would be curious to learn about it. Anyway, that's going to do it for today, guys. Happy record hunting. We will see you tomorrow.